Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel and in today's lesson we are going to be looking at the top 5 3ds Max scripts to improve your workflow and productivity. Before we start, I'd just like to let you know that if you are not sure how to install the 3ds Max scripts or add them to your toolbars, there will be a link below to a video that I created earlier that explains exactly how to install them, add them to your toolbars and many more interesting things about 3ds Max scripts. Also a good thing to know is the resource website called ScriptSpot. It's an excellent resource where you can download these scripts that we are going to be looking at today and many more interesting scripts that you can use in your day-to-day -day work. Okay, so here we go. Let's start with the first script. So the first script we are going to be looking at is called clean DWG. This uh, script is useful when you are importing new files from architects. What you can do is you can just press H, have a look. This is usually what you're going to see when you import files from architects is a lot of trash inside of this uh, file. Lots of empty blocks that you don't need with a lot of stuff that's completely unnecessary. And this uh, script is going to remove all of that. So what you can do is you can select your plan, click on clean DWG and it's going to bring up this uh, little box. And over here we can see that it has flatten, group and clean empty layers. So we're going to run this script. We're going to just call this plan 01. And just before we do that here, you can find uh, who created this uh, script and you can find it on this website. So let's click start. It's going to run. And once it's completed, when you click on it, you're going to notice that it's created a group. If we go group, ungroup, and we press H once more, now you can see that there's only clean layers inside of this DWG. And then what you can do afterwards is you can just cl uh, click on spline. And if we just move this over here, and attach multiple you just select all of those and you can flatten this totally down so you can click select all attach and now you have one single spline for your floor okay so that was number one the second script we are going to be looking at is called relink bitmaps Usually in a scene when you're creating any type of interior or exterior, you're going to be bringing in uh, many different assets. And usually what happens when you bring in those assets, they are missing their uh, root folders or they're missing essentially their textures. And if we click on this script called Relink Bitmaps, what that's going to do is it's going to show you all the files that are missing. And what you can do is you can just browse to the directory where they are. So local list select and click uh, Relink. And that will relink all of these files and you're good to go. The third script on the list is called CopyTor. This is a script that I use all the time in my work and this allows you to copy from one 3ds Max file to another. So all you need to do is select your object, click on copy one, it gets loaded into this little window over here. Then what you can do is you can go into your second file and open it again, click on this window and it brings it straight into your second file. It's super useful and I would highly recommend using it. The fourth script on our list is called image comp helper. So if we just look over here, this is the name of the script. And what that allows us to do is introduce the rule of thirds into our viewport or the golden spiral or any of these other ones, diagonals or center cross to help us with our composition. So if you're not sure if your composition is working, you can use this as a guide. It's quite useful. 
And last but not least, we have the collect assets script. What this script allows you to do is it allows you to export your file with all the textures linked to it and it is exported in a nice neat folder where you can send it to a client or take it home or do whatever you will with it. So that's it for today guys. I hope that helped you and I hope you use these scripts in your workflow and it helps you work faster and more efficiently. See you guys in the next lesson. If you have a moment, please subscribe and like the video. Have a good evening.